The United States says it has offered Russia a deal aimed at freeing the American basketballer Brittany Griner. Trying to avert a global food crisis, the first ships carrying crucial grain supplies prepare to leave ports in Ukraine. A new coordination centre has begun work in Turkey, part of a complex deal to restart blockaded grain exports from Ukraine. It's an effort to ease a global food crisis that's affecting millions around the world. More than 20 million tonnes of grain is waiting at Ukrainian docks at the moment. The aim is to export 5 million tonnes a month, matching pre-war levels. Richard Galpin reports. From the start of the war back in February, Russian forces have been blockading Ukraine's Black Sea ports, preventing the exports of Ukrainian wheat and other grains, vital for the food supplies of many countries around the world. According to officials, there are around 20 million tonnes of grain in Ukraine. With fears growing of global food shortages, it seems there may now have been a breakthrough with a deal agreed by the two sides. It's hoped it will be possible for ships to be inspected near Turkey and then guided past Ukrainian sea mines before being loaded with grains and fertiliser. The first shipments are due in the coming days. All this after Turkey's defence minister, Hulusi Akar, unveiled a coordination centre in Istanbul to oversee the export of Ukrainian grains. Currently, the preparation and planning is continuing for the ships laden with grain that will leave Ukrainian ports. The work done by Joint Coordination Centre will contribute to overcoming the food crisis affecting the whole world. The UN, Ukraine and Russia have all said they expect exports to begin in a few days. But Russia's Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Rudenko has warned the deal could collapse if obstacles to Russia's agricultural exports are not promptly removed. Richard Galpin, BBC News.